All right, this time we're going to graph the surface z squared equals 4 minus 4y squared. And the first thing we should notice about this equation is that there is no x. So what that tells us it's, is that this graph is a cylinder that extends in the x direction, extends along the x axis. x is a free variable, x is unrestricted by this equation, x can take on all real values, while y and z are restricted by the, that they have to satisfy this equation, this relationship. So we're going to start by just doing the trace in the yz plane. Um, so we want to think about what this graph looks like in the yz plane, and um, if we think about it for a minute, and think about moving terms around a little bit, uh, we'll notice that we have the equation of an ellipse, 4y squared plus z squared equals 4, and then if we divide through by the constant term, we get y squared over 1 plus z squared over 4 equals 1. So that's an ellipse that crosses through the y-axis at plus and minus 1, and the z-axis at plus and minus 2. So we'll just sketch in that ellipse again, being careful about thinking about what exactly is going on here, where it looks like it's intersecting the x-axis, but we know it's really not. Um, all right, and then to sketch in our surface, we're going to just take some points on this ellipse that we drew in the yz plane and extend those parallel to the x-axis. And so we want to choose some strategic points. Uh, if I think about just kind of sliding up along this curve to the parallel to the x-axis, where would be kind of the highest place I would reach? Uh, so right here, so I'm going to extend a line parallel to the x-axis, and I could go forward and backward. I'm going to start by just going forward and then down here as well. And then maybe over here on the side um, at the ends of the minor axis on this ellipse, I'm going to extend some lines as well. Um, one of the things I want to do as I extend these lines is be a little bit careful to extend them so that they're roughly the same length, so that then when I draw a copy, of that generating curve that we have in the xz plane, I've got something to connect that copy to. All right, so what we have here, we started with a, our generating curve, the ellipse, um, 4y squared plus z squared equals 4 in the yz plane. I drew extensions of that at some selected points, extensions parallel to the x-axis, and then another copy of that generating curve. So we've got a wireframe here of our surface. I can go ahead and draw in some contour lines to make it look 3D, uh, but we have this cylinder in the shape of an ellipse, so kind of like a tube, but elliptical shape. Um, it's running parallel to the x-axis, so it's extending across the x-axis. And this really runs forward and backward if I'm interested in drawing the negative part of it as well, and the negative x direction, I can do that as well. Um, but sometimes we're just interested in getting the general shape of it and how it's related to other surfaces we have. So if we need that part along the back, we can draw that as well.